Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Black Ops Cold War video. Guys, last night was absolutely crazy. Waking up this morning was even crazier. I finally had, for the first time ever, my first, I'm going to say viral video. I know, like, it had 7,000 views, okay? Overnight. I know, for some people, 7,000 is literally nothing. But for me, 7,000 is viral overnight. And there's three of those videos. One has 7,000, one has, I think, 3,000, one has 1,000 all overnight. And I'm going to tell you guys that crazy story from last night to this morning right now. You know what's even crazier is so as I was recording that intro, or right before I recorded that intro, I checked and that video was at 7.5k views. I just checked it as I was loading into this match and now it's at 7.7k views. Like, so it just gained 200 views within the last, I mean, it's probably been like, oh crap, oh crap. It's been, oh, there we go. That's 200k. That's 200 views worth right there. Like within the last like hour or so, like I checked it about an hour or so ago. And now I just went up another 200 views. Guys, it is crazy. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, last night, right? I was playing with, De I was not streaming because I got on really late. He was streaming. And I've been uploading these YouTube shorts, which I talked about in yesterday's video, which is literally just YouTube's version of TikTok. Smoked smoked and so it's in a beta the youtube it's called youtube shorts so if you ever hear me say shorts or youtube shorts that's that's what it is okay it's literally just youtube tiktok and oh my goodness i can't believe i didn't really kill that guy but i've been uploading them because it's in a beta right now which is good because you know like they're trying like any errors that may occur they can fix like that's you know what a beta is for which is awesome and so i was like i'm gonna take full advantage of this beta like uh, if i'm already making tiktoks and I love my YouTube platform the most. Why would I not just upload those TikToks to my YouTube, which is exactly what I'm doing. But now instead of uploading my TikToks to YouTube, I'm uploading the YouTube clips and then uploading those to TikTok. We're making them for YouTube first because so I have four videos up. By the time you watch this, there'll be five because I've been uploading them at noon and I want to upload them at noon daily. I've been, dude, this CDL skin guy is hurting my feelings. But I had like four of them, right? And yesterday, I was like, dude, this is so cool. It's at 300 views right now. And I was playing with Dent, and I was like, whoa, dude, Dent, it's at 400 views now. And there was like, just this one was just popping off. And then I was like, Dent, it's at 600 views right now. And I was like, Dent, it's at 800 views now. Like, it was, it just kept going up. And it was just that one video, right? Just kept going up and up and up. And finally, like, before I went to bed last night, it was up to 2k in like two hours right which is absolutely absurd and i was losing my mind oh boy those guys just hurt my feelings so i was getting all excited about it we were talking about it last night and i was like youtube shorts is the move like 200 or 2k views did i say 200k 2k views on one of my shorts which is absolutely insanity love that and then i wake up this morning and i check and that video that had 2k views is now at 3.5k views and then the other video that was at 10 views is at 7 right now 7.7k views and then another video that was at like 200 views is now at 1.5k like, like what is why did i throw that grenade when no one's even on the hill but dude it was okay that hurts my feelings that you could i'm gonna switch to the ak city for you but dude that was it was crazy absolutely absurdity and guys, that has, believe it or not, a lot to do with you. So what happens is it's just like TikTok, where if you guys see my video on your subscription feed and you actually click it, that actually helps the video. Like that helps the algorithm. Like literally you just clicking on the video or clicking on like a link if I ever, like if you're in the Discord. And then when you like the video, that helps the algorithm a ton. Oh my goodness, look how many nades they just threw at us. And then... If you comment on the video, it helps the video a ton. So if you click the video, like the video, and comment on the video all in one go, I mean, you are just basically just my best friend, honestly, at that point. Like, it is... And this is, like, for YouTube videos as well. Wait, where are these? Are these guys below me? I mean, so this is for, like, just regular YouTube videos as well. But for YouTube shorts, it's even easier because it's such... Like, what are, what are people saying? Like, snackable content. It's, like, such small, quick, easy content that it's easy for YouTube to blast out that like was it a 45 second clip to 7,000 people and 7,000 people are like all right i'm gonna watch this yesterday and this morning has been absolutely incredible now i will say 
it is Valorant clips, which I know I'm not really a Valorant YouTuber. I'm a Valorant. Sh I've been streaming Valorant because it's been fun, but that's okay because I already have a couple of Warzone clips that I got last night that I think are worthy of being uploaded throughout this week. Okay, so you know I got I have these bad boys on on stock now. You know I'm, I'm gonna be just saving them, ripping them through. So I have a I have a nice Warzone one ready to go or two, and then oh my goodness guys, when League Play comes out. You're, you're gonna see a lot of my name on your on your YouTube. I'm telling you, you're gonna see my name everywhere. Rudy Patootie uploaded a video. Rudy Patootie uploaded a YouTube sh short. You, Rudy Patootie tweeted out his scoreboard. Rudy Patootie is streaming league play right now. Rudy Patootie went viral again. I mean, guys, it's gonna be non-stop. I'm telling you right now, when league play comes out, it's gonna be crazy. And actually, something they actually tweeted out a pretty big update this morning about league play. Which I kind of like, and there's a lot of negative feedback on it, but I love it. Bang. So do any of you guys know what a GA is? Probably do. We've been watching me for a while. We've been talking, we talk about him a little bit. But a GA is, uh, it's short for Gentleman's Agreement. So basically, Call of Duty has its, like, bans within the game that are, like, your obvious bans. Launchers, LMGs, tack rifles, shotguns. Actually, I don't think tack rifles are even on the ban list but they have like the obvious bans like c4 is obviously banned like come on things like that the pros though they find stuff because they play hours and hours a day and they find stuff that needs to be banned immediately like they don't have time to wait for call of duty to ban it and the pros are like well we are our own pro community like we can gentlemen's agree to just not use something against each other so they ga it so like things that are like get discovered like let's say an attachment it's like wow someone tried out a new attachment today it turns out that thing is absolutely broken like literally not like um like a good gun but like a this is actually broken situation and so they'll ga it and so what, what call of duty is having a hard time doing is in league play if we play league play which i will i want to preface this with i would rather play league play with literally no bands right now and just to have my rank rather than play pubs but that's besides the point and so call of duty's actual i think it actually is a genius idea like i actually love this idea their plan is to instead of like coming out with a league play because they, they don't know how to force gas and also even if they do know how to force a GA, like for instance one of the gas that league play is going to have the hardest time doing well there's a couple of them right but lawbreaker so the rule is so there's no perk greed allowed perk greed is banned because that gives you six attack or six uh perks which is kind of unfair so there's a lawbreaker where you can use the lawbreaker for the perks but you can't use it for the overkill now you know how i can only imagine that that would take quite a while to code that in to make that a thing right and especially imagine if they code that in and then the pros one day like you know what perk grade's actually not that bad like we don't even have to use lawbreaker anymore like so they wasted that much time right so here's what call of duty decided to do which is so genius they made it so instead of just like trying to update their league play with the GAs every week, which is just literally impossible to do. Like, there's no way they're going to be able to do that every week. They just made it so the beginning of league play, we're not going to be able to create our own classes. The pros have come together. Edgar's scratching out the door. That's what I... <laughs> Edgar's scratching out the door right now. Let me go let him in. Be right back, guys. Wait, I didn't die? He, uh, he scratched the door and left. Like, I just opened the door. He wasn't there. What a jerk. <laughs> but... Call of Duty got with the pros, and they just made, I think they said about 10 preset classes that are just like, I don't know like how they're going to do it, but I'm sure they're going to be like a main, like they're going to name the classes like this is the main AR class, this is the main submachine gun class, this is the main search and destroy class, this is the main sniper class within search and destroy, and so it's so, like I can, so people are complaining because like what about our creativity on the classes, here we go, let's see, can we... Let me lob some noobs with this. Oh, here we go. Is that a three? Oh, that was almost a three piece. But hear me out on this, all right? When you're playing competitive, I understand, you know, you're gonna wanna have some, you know, there might be days where you wanna try like a silly class, for, for the, right? But for the most part, if you're playing competitive, literally everyone uses the same class. I mean, they the pros find the best gun to use, and then everyone uses that same exact gun with the same exact attachments, for the most part. Okay, you might not like a reticle, but that's why I'm pretty sure they said there's like 10 classes, so you'll be able to find within one of those 10 Dang it, why did I pick up this gun? You'll be able to find within those 10 classes a class that 
literally is probably one of the exact ones that you have if you like play game battles at all or you care about competitive like at there's no shot i was so confident that i could just hit fire that guy he was at quarter health and i didn't hit a single bullet there what in the world happens oh i just lost i didn't realize the score either oh but basically what i was trying to say is the pros are for sure one of the 10 classes is going to be perfect for you and that's so awesome because that makes it so now league play can come out now because if they don't do this odds are they're just going to come out with league play with bans but no ga's which means everyone's going to be running lawbreaker and or perk greed which both those options are like full on lawbreaker like with overkill would suck and also you can take a guy like me who i think my class is what the i think this is what the pros are using i'm not really a hundred percent sure on that i'm pretty sure it is though but like let's say i'm wrong now i will literally be able to see the class that the pros gave call of duty and i can just copy it and practice it like outside of league play as well which is like pretty cool i think i don't know guys i am so excited thank you for everyone who helped me get these viral let me check right now while we're sitting here let's check how many views it's at now dude because it is absurdity here we go loading up youtube studio we are videos and i'm gonna go to it's at 7,000, 7.78, like 7.78 views right now, which is absurd. The other one's, yeah, 3.5. So I think it's slowed down, which, <laughs> I mean, hey, it's done more than enough already. That is going to do it for today's video, guys. So thank you for stopping by, and guys. I'm so excited for League Play. And if you're one of the people who don't don't like this, like, set, like preset classes for League Play, you got to have an open mind. Trust me when I say that the classes that they're going to give us, like the preset classes... First of all, are going to help your experience because no one is going to be able to break the GAs, which is incredible. We've never had this before in League Play. Whenever the pros have G like League Play, what League Play is and what the pros play are always different games because the pros play more strict and Call of Duty can never implement all of the like GAs that the pros are doing because the pros, I know it looks like they're being babies like when they ban some things, but they're banning it because it's like too overpowered. So... This is like so beneficial for us. So keep an open, keep an open eye on our open mind. There you go. Keep an open mind on that. And thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a like on your way out and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.